Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Guys, 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 Demon the Slayer, my lord. This is probably one of the better two episodes I've seen coming out of a show that's mainly focusing on uh, gory and like crazy stuff just going on between the brother and the sister and I feel like I've seen a pretty good amount of animes that do like horror and do a little bit of you know like a lot of this gore that be going on I mean we literally saw the same outcome that happened to this man's family and pretty much watched it happen to someone else's so that's pretty much how this show goes it's just brutal like it doesn't really hold any <laughs> any guards back on anything and this episode is pretty telling of that um not only did this kid have to carry his sister in like a full-on sprint because there's no way he could keep up with this old man but he then had to go up a mountain that was completely littered with traps and man was he getting absolutely slapped in there <laughs> um so i don't know these are these are one of the times dang that was sick these are one of those times where you're just like okay maybe he's going to just outright body this demon that he finds and you know he's going to bring out some anger ability that he has because of the because of his life and what's happened no none of that he literally gets frozen because i mean if you're a human and you walk into a room where a whole bunch of humans have been bodied and there's still one demonic looking person in there eating their body if you tell me that you would not freeze for a minute or at least be somewhat scared you are a robot <laughs> but uh yeah they man like when they get into those types of graphics it is just brutal guys uh but yeah so we get to see that we get to understand kind of a little bit more about how he's probably going to fight uh more likely than not because he really felt bad that the way he was going to kill um or like the way he was going to take out this demon who had already like lost his head or something he like started feeling bad or you know he's like man if i have to hit him more than once with this boulder he's gonna suffer you know like he just this kid is such a good kid um and it sucks to know that he is going to probably do something very stupid in the like future but i think to uh save face and to like say that everything his decision making maybe isn't as bad as it is as of right now because he's you know letting demons have second chances pretty much <clears throat> When we see the opener and the ender, when we have him working together with seemingly uh, a boar-shaped head, like, kid or something, I think that gave me the most information of what type of character he was going to be more than even these episodes, because how can you trust that to not try to kill your sister or kill you? You know, like, this is... That's a whole new level of trust right there. It don't even look human, but you're going to treat it human, you know? So, it's just the vibe I'm getting off this kid is, you know, pretty open-minded. And that's another reason why this old man doesn't think that he'll last long. Because if he's open-minded to letting a demon survive, or even uh, demons that have literally just showed you that they've killed multiple innocent life and he's still kind of like thinking of oh man if i kill this thing it might feel pain you know like it's just the way of him and we're gonna see if that ever changes which if it does i think that's gonna be another telling point of just how far this story can go in the case in the case of um whoever we find from this day forward we'll probably have a good understanding of 
what he's going to be willing to do because not only does he like you know seemingly doesn't make the correct decisions quick enough for this old man but it seems like he's going to get quite a bit of character development in that case of just fighting probably more uh quickly and consciously um but to be fair if he does uh will that make his character less sympathetic towards his sister or towards other demons that might be you know capable of not attacking humans and completely going out of their way to try to uh, destroy them and stuff so i don't know that's where i started looking at it like okay now if they can talk him into fighting demons without feeling some type of way he's going to be a monster but if he does do that what's stopping him from becoming a different person what's stopping him from uh actually you know doing something that he might regret compare oh my he didn't even notice me brother um and i don't know it feels like they have a lot that they could do with this and as of right now they definitely have to have to make him stronger they have to make him a little bit more believable that he can even do what he's trying to do which is like protect his sister and uh you know actually get somewhere and maybe try to find the person that did what they did to his family um which you know at the end of the day if you think of that storytelling it's kind of lame you know like a kid wants to revenge his sister who was turned into a demon by killing the demon that turned his sister into a demon and killed his family and then what you know what i mean like what happens after you get that revenge what happens to your sister if you kill the demon that created her and that's her only real lifeline at this point you know um stuff like that can always i feel like should be introduced to the story but it's so early it's episode two that's just where my mind is running off to my mind wants to picture and tear apart just what could be possible and that's just something i normally do with all shows that i watch that's why when i'm watching super and they told me weese is an angel the first thing that came to my mind is where's all the demons where's all the devils you know what i mean like that's just where my mind naturally progresses to when i watch anime including good anime that has story capability to going that length instead of them just being like oh well we threw it out there but we're not gonna do it so like i was saying this is demon slayer is there only really demons you know like what else is there out in this world we've seen that that the guy with the boar head looks like you know like he literally is just a boar human or something but would that be considered a different demon you know or is that a different race of monster what what is that boar guy <laughs> um i can't wait to meet him not to mention uh something else that popped up in the uh in the songs that i didn't expect to like take out of it was it looks like there's a love interest between the kid who uses i think lightning uh he's like an all orange but he he seemingly has a crush on old girl on the, the kid's sister like as soon as she wakes up at the end song he like gets all these hearts and flutter like he's all mad at the boar guy but as soon as the sister wakes up he's good he's like what what boar <laughs> what guy i was i was only looking at that cute chick that i might marry one day um so we got a little bit of that going on where he might have to protect his sister from both of his teammates uh seemingly in different ways which looks pretty funny but overall man the character of him with his sense of smell and being able to smell the traps that had human um scents on it like it smelled like a human still was pretty cool um i mean not to mention the fact that they had like that really cool animation of when he was kind of doing his senses and it was just showing you like that blue aura that was going all out um not to mention there was a really cool looking blue aura that the old man kind of was sensing off of him as well so i don't know where that stuff is going um or if that 
even has anything really to do. Maybe that was just him sensing that there was potential there along those lines or something. So, not really sure. Um, I'm guessing we'll learn quite soon just what type of potential our boy got because he is going to be grinding quite a bit, it feels like, to get um, the recommendation he actually wants because, man... He's got a pretty tough teacher, and it seems like he even raised the toughest guy that, you know, our main characters actually met. Uh, that's a human. So that kind of goes to show you just what, uh, overall, we're probably going to be messing with. You know, like, we have a kid who literally has been kind of sheltered his whole life. He's been living a nice, relaxing life, and now all of a sudden he has to protect his sister that's part demon and also try to live a life that you know retains to move in at daytime carrying your sister on your back because she'll die if she gets hit by the sun and still trying to figure out what you're gonna do or who you should be going to it's this show is pretty wild and uh i don't know i think they're killing it right now episode two Amazing, amazing stuff, uh, giving us information about the character, giving us a uh, progression of the story, get, meeting a new character that's going to probably be the main reason why our character becomes actually more helpful than the sister who kicks off a demon's head with one kick and then pretty much can hold herself uh, with him in a hand in like hand to hand combat while uh, seemingly the body can still function just as fine without a head as with it <laughs> so demons like even if she got her head cut off she should be okay and that i think that's something he doesn't want to think about at this moment like oh yeah if my sister gets her head cut off she'll be all right she's just she's just like this demon you know like that's not something that would run through his mind be like oh yeah man i can't wait to be able to just put her head back on if she ever gets cut <laughs> you know like it's dark, man. It's really dark to think that everything this demon that happened to this demon could possibly happen to her and she could live as long as the sun doesn't hit her. Um, which was interesting when he said, you think a stab wound is going to kill that thing? It's not. You gotta. There's a different way. And then he goes and grabs a rock, you know? So it's stuff like, oh my god, you guys saw that. You saw that. I just uppercutted, I just anti-aired him out of the air off. Oh my god, I'm the best monster hunter out there. Uh, but yeah, absolutely nuts, guys. We definitely have some crazy stuff to talk about. If I didn't touch up on anything in here, please talk to me in the comment about it. Or if you have any questions that even you didn't understand in this week's episode or... Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. I will drop another video later today, so I hope you guys definitely stick around to check that out. I will be dropping We Never Learned. We Never Learned. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys are definitely going to be around for that. If not, I hope you have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be when you're checking this out. And have an awesome one. So with that, peace, my anime people. Oh yeah, by the way, I am the anime G, so keep your eyes out for me as well. <laughs>